Yo, what is going on beautiful people? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, man. Today I want to talk to you guys about these job interviews and why you should not feel down on yourself. And you know, I, I just hit big, right? I just got my offer letter for the job that I wanted. I took it. It came with a 20% pay increase, better benefits. And guys, it came by me continuing to try. It came because I did not give up and I've went on dozens of in-person interviews countless phone interviews, countless Zoom interviews. Some of the biggest waste of time in your life are gonna be you doing interviews via Zoom. It is so annoying. Or being on the phone with recruiters and you're gonna get rejection letters. You're gonna be told no. You're gonna tell, you're gonna be told we're moving on, you know, to the next step with the hiring process with, with someone else. You know, this happens. It's not about the no's, it's about the one yes because you only need one yes, right? You're gonna get hundreds of no's. So just, just keep in mind when you're applying that I only need one yes. Just try to bring your, your A game. Don't let your anxiety get in the way. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not one to tell people to do this, but if you really that anxious before a job interview, take a shot of vodka in the parking lot so you're a little bit more relaxed. Wash your mouth out and go inside the job interview. Just make sure you don't smell like vodka. Maybe do a little spray of some perfume. Do whatever it is that you got to do to get it so you're more relaxed. I've done it. I've done it. I've gotten job offers, you know, with tequila in my system. Okay, a whole shot and a half of tequila. I just waltz in there. Anxiety gone. That's what I did. I'm not saying you should do as I do, right? I'm just saying that, you know, find a way to make it happen so that you can have a good interview. So you're relaxed. So you're direct. You're shaking their hand. You come early. You come prepared, you know, because they're judging you. Come dressed, dressed well. Make sure you feel yourself. Get a haircut, you know, um, make sure your makeup's done. Your eyebrows are trimmed. Come at the top of your game. And if they, if it's not good enough, then move on to the next one because these companies, these companies don't care that you have a family to feed, right? They don't care that you just graduated from college and that your, your Sally May loan is about to start accumulating interest and they're going to be expecting payments and you're not going to be able to make it. They don't care. Okay. They don't care. So neither should you get that paper. Okay. Apply for the job that you're not qualified for. Go for it. You never know. You never know what God will bless you with by you simply trying, stepping up to the plate, and taking a swing, guys. This is a game. They're just judging you unfairly. Very rarely does the does the correct applicant get hired. It's always the person that sells themselves the best, and it takes practice. Don't beat up on yourself because you did a terrible job interview after you haven't interviewed in two, three, four years, okay? Sometimes, I, and when I know I'm about to start job searching, I take job interviews that I know I'm not even gonna get just so I can, you know, build up that, that muscle, build up that social endurance, right? Because you're talking to a stranger about a job. They never met you before, you never met them before. And if this isn't something that you do all the time, you know, talking to strangers, you're going to be pretty uncomfortable. You know, when you go on the job interview, you know, make sure you come correct. Be open, be welcoming, uh, make sure you come on time, be sharp, you know, and just try your best and don't get discouraged because that's all you can do is your best. Um, and guys, I hate to say it, especially for you remote workers that are trying to work remote, y'all going to have to fill out a good three to 500 job applications, at least, no lie. I know it sounds crazy, guys, but everybody near, everybody and their mama are trying to work from home. It's not just you. It's everybody across the country. Everybody across the country is competing for the same job you are. The, the, the pool is going to be tough, all right? A lot of people are saying, oh, I filled out 50 job applications. How come I'm not hearing anything back? Man, in my opinion, if you're trying to get a job locally, a good job locally with vacation time, sick time, uh, bereavement, uh, holidays off, if you want, um, you know, tuition reimbursement, the full package, and you want to make good money and it requires a degree, you're going to have to fill out at least 100 job applications for those type of jobs. That's me being nice locally. That's really going to take about 150 to 200. Me, per me, me personally, that's what I think. It's going to take 150 to 200 job applications if you live in a big town, if you live in a big city. But um, it's just the nature of the game, man. Make sure your LinkedIn profile is looking good, looking sharp. Make sure you got a background. It looks pretty professional. Don't have a white wall behind you in your profile pic. Make sure your background is up in your LinkedIn picture. Uh, make sure that you follow up with people after the interview's done. Send thank you emails. Uh, sometimes, me personally, when I go on job interviews and I'm not selected in person, I never do this through Zoom. But if I'm not what they're looking for, you know, after I get done with an interview in person, I ask what, where I was lacking so I could... 
um, you know, possibly improve myself and circle back. That shows that I'm interested, right? Especially if it's coming with a whole bunch of money, guys. I love me some money and hey, I'll try, try again for some paper. I'm the little train that could when it comes to that money. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, man, don't, don't get discouraged. Don't get down on yourself. It's a game. They're judging you, okay? They're judging you. They don't know you. They've never seen you work. They don't know that how smart you are. They don't know how efficient you could be, what, what you can truly add to this team, okay? Beside you telling them what you can add to this team, why, why I say it's a part of selling. And sometimes that's not enough, right? Selling yourself sometimes is not enough. I feel bad for pretty women, pretty ladies. I feel bad for large men that are intimidating. I bet you there are women out in this world that are highly qualified, but because they're too pretty and being interviewed by another woman, they didn't get the job because she's hating on her. You know, shorty hating on you in a job interview because you too pretty? Or maybe your body is just snaps and she's like, oh no, this person makes me feel terrible about myself. Or maybe you're a large muscular man. You're six foot six, broad shoulders, full head of hair. You got a beard all trimmed up. You making the dude across from you feel all types of insecure. He's like, I'm not hiring this dude. He makes me feel sloppy like a slouch. Or maybe you're just a regular guy that's highly intelligent and your, your resume is decorated with certifications, accomplishments, and diplomas. And because you have all of these accomplishments and capabilities and, and you have all of these you have all these skills on your resume, the interviewer is intimidated. And they're like, oh no, you're overqualified. What does that even mean? You're a hater, give me the job. That means I should definitely get it if I'm overqualified. You know, don't be a hater, you feel me? So it comes with the game. Any of these silly reasons I just mentioned might be why you didn't get a call back for a job. Who cares? Because they don't. You guys have a great day. Have a great Tuesday. I'm about to go hit triceps, try to get me a good pump because I myself am trying to build a better body, a better mind. It's a daily struggle. Life is a struggle. Getting a job is a struggle. The reward at the end is the job you want, that paper, the vacation time, tuition reimbursement, the benefits, the health insurance, all of that, man, all of that beauty in the struggle have a great day thanks for watching hit that like a sub button on the way out if you guys got any interview questions for me how can i how can i prepare for a job interview what should i wear uh, what do you do for job interviews what do you like to wear what's your approach any questions you guys have about my 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 uh, methods for applying to jobs for job interviews all of that. I would love to answer any questions you guys may have. LinkedIn profiles, Indeed. I don't like Indeed that much because, you know, LinkedIn is so much more effective. I could do a video about that later on. But any questions you guys have, please leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.